Hi. It's been a while. I know you haven't had enough Mark Turner in your life, but we're going to fix that right now with episode seven of the Turner Show. In this episode, we're going to do a happy happy segment. We're also going to do a segment on Smart Summon, and then we'll finish the episode with my favorite recurring segment, Who's Funnier? Well, let's get started. Let's go ahead and, um, in case you don't know what Smart Summon is, um, it's a um, function on the Tesla app that allows you to, so like if it's raining, speed. have your car come to you. And I'm trying it here. I meant to say, oh, summon trusty steed, you know, like Shrek and Donkey. Whoa, 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 turn, turn, turn. It did. is basically driving itself and if you want to see what it looks like from the inside I had a camera going so we can and uh, we can take a look at that point in the video where I think it's going to go into the front door of the store here but it actually does make the turn in enough time to come around and pick me up signals. I like how it signals. And there I am, off to the right. Yes. So that actually went relatively smoothly, um, but it doesn't always. And if you'll notice, I'm always, um, I'm going to shoot a couple more of these, but they're in deserted parking lots. <laughs> um, in this particular um, video here, um, the car just drives right on by. I thought for sure it would turn left and pick me up, but it doesn't. It just keeps on going. I think it was going to go make a beer run or something. Um, it doesn't really know what it's doing here. Uh, so then it makes a turn, and I stop it briefly because it only goes while you're pressing your finger on the, your thumb on the app. And I wasn't sure it was going to make that turn, but when I hit continue, it did. And it actually came um, within about 20 feet of me and stopped, which is pretty good, I guess. Again, I wouldn't try this in a parking lot with pedestrians um, or other cars even. And on this final clip, I think it thinks that I am the light pole and it tries to go there first. And then it comes around and, and finds me. And I love the way that um, when it gets to me, it, it gives me a little courtesy toot of the horn. I think this is adorable. So, there we go. There's Smart Summon. Again, it's one of those features that um, is probably the coolest feature of the car that I'll probably never use because it scares me too much. <laughs> um, I'm afraid uh, of doing damage to the car or somebody else. Um, but if you um, uh, decide that you would like to buy a Tesla, click the link down below and you'll get a thousand miles off your free supercharging. And when we come back, we'll do a segment of Happy Appy. Okay, so here we are, Happy Happy. Um, this week's Happy Happy, this app makes me happy, is a, um, an app called uh, Reason Connect 2 by Reason Labs. They used to be Propellerhead. I like Propellerhead better. Oh, look, I look like I got a mohawk here. Um, so yes, this app is a pocket synthesizer app. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and open a project that I've already started working on. And you'll notice here that there's uh, three different um, blue, red, and, and gold. The blue is the drums, the red is the lead, and the gold or yellow is the uh, bass. And we can control each of the, um, the sounds that are being made. Um, here, I'm going to change the drum kit. I think there's over 18 or 19 drum kits. And this drum kit 
just want to show you that I can change it. Now I'm going to go into the lead section and in the leads, and there's a, I'll go through just a few of the different sounds. I really don't have time to do an extensive evaluation of this app, but I've only had it for a few days and it's given me several hours of extreme happiness. <laughs> I'm creating my own little beats and I, whatever lead you choose, you can play along um, with in that same instrument. So this one is kind of forgiving, so I picked it. Um, there's also uh, a chord maker and a preggio appreciator, appreciator. Um, and those help uh, give the, uh, the lead a little bit fuller of a sound sometimes. I really don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm just kind of showing you that this stuff exists in Reason Compact 2. And uh, it's, a, it's been a lot of fun, you know, um, for a free app. I don't believe it's available for Android. Uh, as far as I can tell, it's just iOS, sorry. Um, and um, yeah, this is, uh, I think I'm going to skip the bass segment. It's it's pretty self-explanatory. I do change the bass line and show you how the different uh, bars work. I think there's four bars of bass line, but I think I'm going to skip that. Um, and I am going to recommend this app. However, if you do live in a house or a dwelling or space with other people and maybe even certain pets, I would use this app with an uh, with headphones or ear, earbuds or, or something like that because, you know, it, you start getting into your little groove thing going, but if there's somebody else in the room. After about 30, 40 times of listening to the same eight bars, it can get a little old. So um, it, for other people's sake, I would highly recommend um, using this app with headphones or earphones if you are in the room with another person. Okay, we'll be right back. And now it's time for my favorite segment, Who's Funnier? Now it looks like Alexa has a 4-2 to two lead, and we'll see if uh, maybe um, Siri can catch up. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. At first... I didn't like the idea of having a beard. Then it grew on me. The beard that grew on me. Okay. And now, Alexa, tell me a joke. What's it called when you wake up thinking it's a work day, but then you realize it's the weekend? Batter. Yay! Ooh. Um, gee, that's... That's kind of tough. They were, they both kind of were bad. I guess I'm going to go with Alexa again with Satter. Yay! So Alexa wins. Who's funnier? Five to two. And stay tuned for next week where we have another edition of Who's Funnier? And maybe Siri can catch up. Well, that's it for today's episode, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I know you have choices when you click and swipe. And thank you for landing here. Well, thank gosh, our favorite uh, food photo and birthday reminder app is back up today. It went down for a while yesterday and had everybody freaked out. But everything's better now. So we'll see you next time on The Turner Show. Bye, everybody. Your results are back from the lab. Are you sitting down? Good. You have turnered. It's highly contagious. Share, like, and subscribe as soon as possible.